Police in Haiti say two Haitian Americans and more than 20 Colombians are behind the assassination of President Jovenel Moïse. Colombia's government says early investigations suggest that some of the men involved were retired members of its military. Moïse was shot dead during a raid at his home on Wednesday. Some of the suspects have been identified, but officials are still looking for at least eight others. Paddy Colhane reports. A very public display in Port-au-Prince. Police load two men into the bed of a pickup truck, saying they may be a part of the armed gang that allegedly assassinated President Jovenel Moise, later paraded in front of the press. Outside of the police station where several suspects are being held, an angry crowd gathered, demanding the suspects be turned over to them. Those guys killed the president. We are going to make them suffer now that the police have found them and taken them to jail. We want them to burn today. The Haitian police chief said that 28 attackers have been identified, 26 Colombians and two Americans of Haitian descent. He said eight were still on the run and three had been killed. And in a surprising turn, the Colombian defense minister acknowledged some of the suspects had been in the Colombian army. In response to the assassination of the Haitian president, today Interpol has officially requested information from the Colombian government and the national police about the alleged perpetrators of this act. Initially, the information indicates they are Colombian citizens, retired members of the National Army. We've given instructions by the national government to our police and the army to collaborate in the investigation to clarify these facts immediately. Our public force is fully at the disposition of the sister Republic of Haiti. This is all unfolding among a political backdrop of confusion about who is actually in charge. Well, first I would say that um, it is still, it is our view, and we continue to call for elections to happen this year, and we believe they should proceed. We know that free and fair elections will facilitate a peaceful transfer of power to a newly elected president, and we certainly continue to support Haiti's democratic institutions. Moise had been ruling by decree after the majority of parliament was dissolved in January last year. Now both Claude Joseph and Ariel Henry, both senior politicians, claim they are in charge. Haiti, a desperately poor country where the coronavirus is spreading, violence is surging, and political uncertainty rules the day, and now an international mystery of who assassinated the 53-year-old president and why. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.